I can't imagine trying to trade the ES futures market or the NQ futures market without an automated trading strategy. To have to enter your market order, then enter your stop, then enter a target in enough time is just nuts because the, the NQ, especially the NQ, but the ES, all of these futures markets, it just moves too fast to be trying to enter orders by hand. And that's where the ATM strategy comes into play. I mean, having to enter orders by hand is almost as bad as trying to pass a prop firm challenge without a trading plan. Institutional traders and smart traders are just too good to go to battle with without a plan. So if you've been struggling to pass your prop firm challenge, my free guide, Finally Funded, may have some key tips that can help you get over the hump and finally pass that prop firm challenge. So just comment below, give me the guide, and I will send you Finally Funded. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an ATM strategy on the NinjaTrader platform to help you enter the market much more efficiently. Let's go deeper. Okay, guys, let's jump right in. So uh, many people use NinjaTrader and uh, the main benefit that I love about the NinjaTrader platform is the automated trading strategy, the ATM strategy that you can set up right here. Because the, the, the futures market just moves too fast, right? It moves too fast to try to enter a market order, then come back and get your stop where it's supposed to go, then get a target. By the time you do all that, you may be down five points, okay? And you just don't want to be in that situation. So having an ATM strategy set up uh, will eliminate that for you and just get you in the market quick. So. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the basics, all right? Because there's a lot that can that can goes into it. But for my trading purposes, I, I I actually keep it real simple. So your ATM strategy, first of all, it may not be showing there. Um, you have to hit on Chart Trader. If Chart Trader is currently set to off, it won't be there. You have to click on Chart Trader, and then it'll pop up here. Okay, and I'm sorry if you didn't see that in the screen. I may not have my screen right, but it's it's called chart trader is where you want to click at the top of your toolbar i'm sorry i know it's not showing i apologize but here it is once you click on chart trader you have an off a chart trader and chart trader hit it, and you want it on chart trader okay so once you put that on chart trader now you can see the atm strategy pops up over here and everything else you actually need to enter um, a trade so what we're going to do is we're just going to start a new one uh, by clicking down we just hit custom all right and this is going to set us up now the way the ATM strategy works, it's um, parameter type right here. This is set to ticks. I've only ever had it at ticks. Um, yeah, you can't put it to points. So it is set to ticks. So you have to remember that everything we do here, when we're trying to figure out where we want to put our stop and where we want to put our profit target, it's in ticks. So don't let that throw you off. Don't enter points in here. Don't say, all right, I want to risk two points on this trade and put a two here. That's not two points that's actually only two ticks all right so that would be a really tight stop and you probably won't <laughs> you probably won't survive that one at all okay so remember that it's in ticks so with that being the case you actually just can let me see if i can get a calculator up real quick uh you just have to kind of remember to multiply everything by four so let's say that we want a stop loss of two points right well what you need to do is say two points times four ticks is what eight so if i wanted a two point stop if i wanted a two point stop loss i would put an eight here because that would be two points eight four to every four ticks is a point all right four times two that gives you eight all right so then let's say i want a profit target of let's just say 10 to make it simple here let's say 10 so again multiply that by four i want to I want to go 10 points, but this is in ticks. So we got to multiply by four, four ticks and a point will give us 40. All right. So if I want a, a target of 40, I mean, excuse me, of 10 points, I would actually put a 40 here. Okay. And this is the quantity. So how many contracts are we going? Are we going one, two, you set that up here and bang. All right. So this is the first basic, very basic strategy. This is going to when you, if you just hit the buy market button or put a sell stop in, this is gonna have us with a 10 point target with a two point stop. So let's just test this 
let's test this one here. Then we'll go from here. So let's save this as test one. Say this as test one. Let's just see if this is working so far. Okay. And I'm just going to say sale because we're a little bit away from the EMA. Let me make sure I'm on demo. All right. So, oh, as, as you see too, see how ATM strategy is switched to test one order quantity two. So that's correct so far. All right. So let's just sell, see what happens. Order submit, order, order, sell. order submitted. Okay. So let's test this out. We should have a two point stop and a 10 point target right now. Let's see. So we entered at 38.50. Our stop is at 40.50. That's correct. And if we entered at 38.50, our target should be down at 28.50, which it is. All right. So this is a very basic setup. And is our ATM strategy is correct. I mean, we could leave it like this, you know, if if that's all we wanted to do. So I'm just going to close this out. Order. Now let's go Order. back to that strategy again. Let's go look at that strategy again and let's add a lock-in feature. So come back. Now let's say once we are, we risk what two points. Let's just say once we're up two points, we want to move to break even. So we can start here at none. I can go custom. Okay. So what we're saying is we want this, this first section is to auto break. So what we're saying is and this is still in ticks. Once we go eight ticks, I want to move to break even, right? Because I've already, I mean, I risk two. So if I'm up two, I can just move to break even, right? Then this plus will say, you want to move to break even plus one tick, two ticks, three ticks. I actually like to go one tick because I'm in profit at that point, all right? I'm not just in break even, I'm actually in profit to cover the commission. So if it does come back and get me, um, at least I covered the commission and I actually may still make a couple dollars. So I like to go to break even, which in this case would be eight, right? I'm risking eight once I'm up, I'm risking eight ticks. Once I'm up eight ticks, move us to break even plus one. Now what that'll do again, it's just gonna move us in. So let's save this as move in plus one. or something, you can name it whatever, you know, I got a whole bunch of them in there as you see. All right, now now that's in place, okay? So now we have to actually save the template over. Test one, let's hit save. Yeah, we need to save that over and come back again. Boy, this boy kinda, kinda trucking. Let's buy this time. While we're waiting on that, you know, most prop firms do offer Ninja Trader platform. Just make sure, like we use uh, Take Profit Trader. Um, and let's see right here. They show it right here as your platform, your choice, you know, Ninja Trader being one of them, also Trader Bay, also Trading View. So whatever um, challenge, or excuse me, whatever prop firm you're using, um, you know, just make sure that they have Ninja Trader so that you could, you know, trade off Ninja Trader while you're taking your challenge. I, hey, I love Ninja Trader platform. Have never had an issue with them. Been with them for years, years and years. Here we go. Let's see if this ATM strategy works. One more tick. Huh. Push up, push up, push up, push up. All right, so 175. We need to see two actually, two points and a tick, eight ticks. We need to see that eight tick and you may have to click through it. All right, there's 1.75. Come on, one more tick. Let's see if this thing is working. All right. So as you see there, the ATM strategy is working. Once we got up two points, we moved in a tick. So now if anything was to go wrong, you know, if this boy comes back and gets us, we at least cover the commission and make some money. All right. And so again, let me just show it to you. That's the basic ATM strategy where you just set up your stop loss, your take profit and your stop strategy. If you're going to use one and that's how you set it up. And it's, it's truly that easy. After that, now you can just focus on your entries. You don't have to worry about rushing in to put in a stop, rushing in to put in, um, you know, a target. It's much, it's much more relaxed in trading. And that's what you want. On the wifey trade, we got a high.
push down lower high coming back under the 20 ma this is our wifey trade red green red let's see yeah. Yeah. this candle closes strong and we would expect to come down to the bottom here of the range oh we dud it out boom let's see come on push down it still can make it for us well not the exact wifey no more but mm -hmm. still can make a higher low here yeah push down Boy, just don't want to be kind today. <laughs> Come on, push down, hammer down, hammer down. See the numbers are right there where the candles are. And I really can't discern what it got. it's outside of it now, so I yeah, still you know, just looking at this. Here it come. If we can get this we can get this lower high here. Mm. Couldn't close right. It tried it though. Mm. Order filled. All right, let's truck. Truck it cool. on out. Come on, push down. Close on your low. Close on your low. Oh, we looking real trapped right now. Don't trap us. Push down. Push down. Push down. Don't trap us. Yeah, it was a straight range. There we go. Woo! We almost got trapped right there. All right. We, we might well, be good. Push down. Let's see, we could I'll say this initial target, we better shoot for, yeah, right there. Seven, I only need to get to 47. 40. That's perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this target. You win, Daddy? Yeah. All right. Oh, we just need to push down here. Enjoy this ride. Hey, yes, sir. You record? Yep. Okay, good. I don't like that rejection at all. I'm gonna have to get out of risk because I got two of them going. So very unfortunate, but that was a lot of stem right there. Come on, push down, push down, push down. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. I mean, if we can just push down through it, though, and close here, we'd be fine. I mean, if we close mm -hmm. down here, we good, you know. Mm -hmm. Just eating up the rest of those buys. Yep, come on, push through. Close on your low. Come 
I forgot I took a loss earlier, so I gotta. I really need to lock in. Of course. Soon. Okay. That was a great candle. Yeah. That was a great candle. If we can push down, I'll lock in right under that candle. Oh, yeah. We there. We in there now. In there now. Push down, closing your load. Closing your low, great candle, great. Oh, what did great you do? Move, you move break even. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm. I got profit locked in now. I got like five hundred dollars oh. locked in at this point. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we almost to my target here. Gotcha. Yeah. Mine is quite a ways away. I'm, I'm at four point two five points fifty. Okay. Hmm. Be happy at five, man. If I... Yeah, it look like I'm just gonna get back to even. Stop filled. Yep. Oh, made one hundred and ten dollars. So, I was down. So hey, that's you know, that was a good trade to get me back to a positive day. I'll okay. take it. I will okay. take it. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a day on that too. Okay. Because it I'm look gonna... like we are gonna stay in this range. Yeah, I'm gonna let it ride out. Oh yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. You still in it? Let it ride. Cause we definitely can come here. Just unfortunate that it didn't do it for me real quick like there, but mm -hmm. next, next trade. All right. So I hope this will help. You know, sometimes it's just little things that you need help with. And so set up an ATM strategy is definitely very, very important. It takes a lot of stress off, you know, cause these markets are moving too fast to be trying to enter in orders one at a time. I mean, Hey, we're, we're busy trying to pass the prop firm challenge. All right. We don't have time to not be getting our stops in place. Right? So if you've been struggling though, to pass that prop firm challenge, grab our free guide finally funded it will show you plenty of risk management tips plenty of, plenty of trade ideas that could possibly help you get over that hump to finally pass that prop firm challenge just comment below give me the guide i would definitely send that right over to you okay so until next time my name is jd and as always i wish you increase on the sudden bye-bye